Today we are looking at lead code number 54. It's a question called spiral matrix. Also a very frequently asked question. You can see Microsoft asked it a lot, Amazon, Facebook. It definitely makes the rounds. It is a tricky question to get your head around initially because you're dealing with multiple loops. But if you can organize everything, uh, if you can name your variables right and organize everything in the correct way, it's actually not too bad. You can kind of intuitively uh, get to the solution. So here we have given an M by N matrix, return all elements in the matrix in spiral order. So we have to basically traverse through this matrix in a spiral order. And the way we want to think about this is we want to set a variable um, that is top that's going to represent this cell right here, uh, a variable that is going to be left that is also going to represent uh, this column right here. I'm sorry, top is going to represent, yes, uh, left is going to represent this column. And then we want uh, one that's right that's going to represent this column. And then we want uh, a variable that is bottom that's going to represent this row right over here. And then we just want to set up our loops in a way that we can go from left to right, top to bottom, right to left, bottom to top. And on each loop, we increment those variables so we are traversing through this in a spiral way. This will make more, more sense when I code it out. This is also another question that I feel it's just much more effect, effective to just go straight into the code than draw it out. Because uh, once you see the code, you can see that it, it's, 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 not, it's not that bad. It makes a lot more sense. So what you want to do is just set up your variables. So let top equals 0, let left equal 0, let bottom equal matrix dot length minus 1, and let right equal matrix at index 0 dot length minus 1. Okay, so we just first thing we want to do is just go ahead and set up our variables. So top is going to represent here, left is also going to represent here, bottom is going to represent this, this row over here, and then right is going to represent this, this column here. Okay. We also want to have to, we also want to have a results array because that's what we're going to be returning. So we can say const result, which is going to equal an empty array. Okay, and then we want to have a size, okay, because how long do we want to keep iterating? So we want to create a while loop and then create loops inside of that as we spirally traverse. And so we can tell, we, can, we know that once our result here is the size of all the cells in this matrix, then we are, we're done. We don't need to do anything else. Okay, so we can just create a const size, which is going to be matrix.length times matrix zero dot length. Okay, so all that's doing is just counting the number of cells inside of this matrix. Then we want to keep iterating through this while that result array is not full. So we can just do a while <clears throat> result.length is less than size. Just keep on keep on iterating. Okay, so now how do we want to do this? Well, it's actually not too bad. All we want to do is just use our variables, right? We want to initially we want to go from top to uh, we want to take we want to go from left to right. We want to start here at one, and we want to go all the way to right. So we can do a for loop here. Let i equal left, where i is less than or equal to, and the reason we're using equal to is because here we're going by indices, we're setting this uh, at length minus one. So we want to do i is less than or equal to right, and we want to make sure that we are, our, our result is not greater than what our uh, size of our matrix is. So we can say right and um, result.length is less than size and then we increment our i. All right. And so now what do we want to do? We want to we want to push into our result. Push matrix. And what do we want to push? Well, we want in everything from the top row and the ith index. Okay? 
Now that we've done that, now that we've pushed everything from left to right, because we're going to start at 0 and go to right, which is matrix of 0 dot length minus 1. So this first row here, we're going to go ahead and push 1, 2, 3 in there. What do we want to do? Well, we have, we have exhausted this top row. We don't want to come back to it. So we can go ahead and increment our top. Right? And now what do we want to do? We can do for let i equal, we want to go from we want to go from the top to the bottom. Okay, so we can start at top. And then as long as i is less than uh, or equal to bottom. Yes, uh, i is less than or equal to bottom and result dot length is less than size we can increment i okay so we are going to go from the top which is now incremented one so it's going to be starting here at this six and we're going to go all the way to the bottom which is matrix dot length minus one right over here okay and now we want to push into our results. We can do result.push and we want to do matrix. Matrix at what? Well, matrix at we are pushing in on every single row iteration. So we want the ith on our row. And what do we want in our column? Our column, we want the rightmost column. Okay. So this is going to be our ith, and we want to get the rightmost column uh, uh, as our second variable uh, in, in, in what we push into, into our uh, result array. So now what are we going to do? We got the rightmost column. Well, we want to decrement right. Right minus minus, because we have gotten, we have exhausted the rightmost column. We can now move one, one over. So now what do we want to do? We want to go. We want to go from the right to the left, right? So we want to start at uh, right. So let right or let i equal right. I is greater than or equal to left. And result dot length is less than size, and i minus minus. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're going from right and we're decrementing all the way to left. Okay, and on each of those iterations, we're going and pushing all those into our result. <clears throat> Matrix, and now what, what column or what row are we on? Well, we're gonna be on bottom, whatever bottom set at, and then our ith index will be our column. Okay, and now what do we want to do? We want to decrement our column, or I'm sorry, our bottom. Right, because we are here at bottom, and now we want to move up one. Okay, and so now, lastly, what do we want to do? We're going to start at our bottom, and we're going to go to the top. is greater than or equal to top and result dot length is less than size i plus plus i minus minus and then what do we want to do here we just want to go ahead and push into our result matrix. Now, what are we doing? We want the leftmost, well, we want the ith row, but we want the leftmost column. Okay, we'll set that to left. And now what are we going to do? We are going to increment left. All right, after we're done with that, we're just going to go ahead and return our result. Okay. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and run this. See here, one, two, three, six, eight, seven, four, five, and one. I believe we have a small error here. 
result dot length is less than size. Starting at bottom, going to top, incrementing left, decrementing bottom, decrementing right, incrementing top. Here it is. We are doing bottom. We want to do i is greater than or equal to that. And there we go. And so that is uh, spiral matrix. Now, what's our runtime here? Well, our runtime is going to be well, how many times are we hitting each one of these cells? We're only hitting it once because we're decrementing and incrementing. So our runtime, even though we have all these loops, it's actually linear. It's O of n. And what about space? How much new space are we creating uh, by by using this algorithm? Well, our return is going to be n length, right? We're going to have an array of n length based on the input. So our uh, space complexity is also O of n. And that is uh, LeetCode 54 Spiral Matrix. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.